this week's celebration assembly. I cannot believe we're in July. Sit back, relax and listen to this week's nomination. For Saturn class this week, I've chosen Jessica. Jessica has been working hard all through this time that we've been closed. And this week she sent me a really good story on Mount Swingate. And she started to return to school where she's getting on really, really well as well. So well done, Jessica. Hello Jupiter class, hope that everybody is safe and well still. Thank you to all of those people who have emailed me this week. As always, it's lovely to hear from you. This week for our celebration assembly, I have chosen Chloe. Um, Chloe, thank you so much for your email earlier this week. I loved seeing all of your work. Chloe sent through numerous pieces um, of work that she had done. Some great artwork, some lovely writing, brilliant research. Um, so thank you, Chloe. Can't even pick one bit that I liked the most, but I, I loved it all. Um, so you are our celebration person um, this week. Well done. Uh, keep up the hard work and I hope to see everybody really soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hello everyone, hope you're all keeping well. My star of the week this week is Jack Bushell. Jack, it was so lovely to hear from you. Thank you for emailing me and giving me an update on on the Bushell family and what you've all been up to. Uh, good to hear that your, your two little sisters are doing well. Um, and great that you had a lovely birthday, so many presents. Um, and I'm so pleased that you got to give your nan a social distancing hug. It was brilliant. Um, your presentation on Edwin Hillary Jack was fantastic. Um, you have put so much detail into it, um, you read it so beautifully, it was almost as if you were Edmund Hillary, so well done you. And also thanks to Mum for asking all those questions. Um, yeah, I know I had a little chuckle because I could hear you all chuckling in the background, it was brilliant. Thank you so much for getting involved and, and sending me your work, it's so lovely to see and hear all of all about what you've been doing. Anyway everyone, you look after yourselves and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, I hope you're all really well. From Falcon class this week, I'd like to choose Rory. Rory, since receiving our letters, you have absolutely inundated my emails with fantastic learning, things that you've been doing to keep yourself busy, creative ways that you have come up with your own learning ideas. I've been absolutely blown away and impressed and we've all said how fantastic it's been hearing from you. Well done, Rory. Hi everyone. I have two nominations again for Celebration Assembly. The first one is for someone in my class and that person is Teddy. Thank you for getting in touch with me this week, Teddy. It was so nice to see all the wonderful home learning that you'd sent me. Uh, you've done such an amazing job and well done. Keep it up for the last few weeks. And the second person that I would like to choose um, for Celebration Assembly is from the Key Worker Bubble and that person is... Brandon. Brandon, you have been such a superstar this week. Your attitude to learning has improved so much. You've been so positive and you've completed all your learning on time. So well done, Brandon. Hello everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. I wanted to start by saying I've had more emails this week, which is fantastic, but I'd love to hear from even more of Buzzard class. Um, this week, my nomination for Celebration Assembly goes to Owen. Owen has been sending me through pictures of his learning every single week. It's fantastic to see how much he's improving at home. I am so impressed, especially with his handwriting and maths. Fantastic, Owen. Keep it up. Hope to hear from more of you soon. Bye. Hey, Team Swingate. This week for our Year 6 home learner, I have chosen Emily for her continued enthusiasm for learning at home. Well done, Emily. Keep it up. Hi everyone, uh, this week for Celebration Assembly, for Willow class, I would like to nominate Sienna. I've chosen Sienna because she just tries really hard with everything. She does everything with a big smile on her face and it's just a pleasure to have her in the classroom. So thank you, Sienna, and keep it up. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. For this week's Celebration Assembly, I would like to nominate Oliver Rogers. Oliver's speech as a lawyer for the Three Little Pigs trial was excellent. His use of facts and rhetorical questions made him win the case. Oliver managed to drop every single argument of the opposite side, ensuring that his client will leave the courtroom freely. 
Well done, Oliver. Hello everyone. This week for Columbus and Oak class, I have chosen Ella because she worked really hard on her persuasive writing about the three little pigs. Well done, Ella. Good morning. Hello to everyone in Hawks class. I hope you're all doing really, really well and I miss you all so much. This week, I'm going to be nominating James. James sent me a video um, showing me all the work that he's completed during lockdown. I was so impressed. I'm so proud of you, James, that you've managed to keep up with all the work every week. And I was so shocked at how big his folder was. It's literally so 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 thick and I love seeing all the work your starry night picture you're getting 15 out of 15 in maths your fronted adverbials work and that's just to name a few so well done James and thank you so much for showing me all your hard work I'm really really proud of you well done hi everybody so this week for celebration assembly I would like to nominate somebody from my new bubble cricket class um, and I would like to nominate Maisie. Well done, Maisie. So I'm nominating you, Maisie, because it was your first day back at Swingate on Monday. And you were a little bit nervous. You weren't sure if you were going to know anybody and what the day was going to be like. But every day since then, you've come in with a huge smile on your face. You've been trying really, really hard with all of your learning. And most of all, you've been having fun. So well done. Fantastic. Keep it up. And I hope to see everybody soon. Bye. And now moving on to my honeybees. My honeybees love the filters, so that's why I've got um, lightning today. I have chosen two people from honeybees, and that is because in my class I have both year ones and year R's. And they've been doing different work at different times because obviously they are different ages. However, Ronnie and Oliver this week have done year one maths with everybody else. They've understood it. They've got it all done. They've even had fun. It's been amazing to see them try. And I know whoever their year one teachers are going to be next year are going to love having them in their class because they are so, so ready for year one. So well done, boys. What you've done this week is absolutely outstanding. I'm so proud. So please stay safe, everyone. Have lots of fun doing the last few weeks of learning. I'm so proud of all of you. Hi, guys. It's Miss Straub here and Eddie the Eagle. So this week from Eagle class, we have chosen Ava. Now that's because she sent me a lovely email asking how I am, telling me she misses me, showed me her work and also drew this lovely picture that says I miss you Miss Straub and, her, and it was her holding the picture which I really liked because it's great to see her, see that she's okay and in the sunshine. So that was lovely Ava, thank you. You made my day. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done if you got a mention. That's brilliant. It has been so good this week to see our school full nearly to the brim of bubbles. So all our teachers are now teaching bubbles throughout the school. We have key worker groups, our nursery children, year R, year one and year six. And everyone seems to be having a great time learning in their bubbles. So on to our adult of the week. Again, there's really only one choice for this week and it comes with a little bit of sadness as well. So in Miss Boone's newsletter, she was letting us know the teachers and staff who sadly won't be with us in September. And one of those members of staff has been at Swingate a very long time. In fact, she's been with us since before it was Swingate, when it was Spin and Zaker. So sadly, Mrs. Teague won't be with us in September because she is going to retire. And although we're really happy for Mrs. Teague that she's going to retire and she's going to have some more time to enjoy the things she likes doing, we are going to really miss her. And we've really appreciated all the work she's done in lockdown, all the emails that she has responded to and the way she has cared for the pupils in her class. And I know she has hated the fact that she hasn't been able to teach her class till the end. And that's been really hard. But we love you, Mrs. T. Three cheers for Mrs. T. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. So goodbye, children. Have a lovely day. Keep safe and keep learning. Yay!